Yo, Merry Christmas! Merry Christmas, you know what I'm saying? I hope y'all got y'all gifts, you know what I'm saying? Sadly, I got some fucking egg spray. And deodorant. And candy. Now, mind y'all, I, I get whatever I want, you know what I'm saying? I can buy what I want. I'm a dog. But I think by our parents now, if you between the ages of 18... 27. I think you know what I'm talking about. Our parents treat us exactly like fucking adults now. But that's beside the point, man. I wanted to, I wanted to give y'all something special for Christmas, man. I just wanted to give y'all... Let's talk about... Let's talk about The Undertaker, bro. Let's be honest. We're going to forget about Goldberg versus him. We're going to forget about Brothers of Destruction versus DX. We're going to talk about his prime. We're going to talk about the mystique, the streak, the crazy stuff that he did. So if y'all ain't know Undertaker, Undertaker was first in WCW. You know, and um not he started off in WCW. In which he didn't it was cool, but he wasn't Undertaker. Then he ended up going to WWF and turned into the evil motherfucker. The mystique. What made Undertaker so great was that I don't think a lot of people realize. Like, if you grew up watching The Undertaker, like, imagine a Friday night. A Friday night, y'all. And you just watch. You fresh. You you just finishing your homework at 7 o'clock. Hit, and Friday night, SmackDown comes on. And you see Undertaker, and you see Undertaker. You see Randy Orton in the ring, and a, they rolls a casket. The Druids rolls a goddamn casket down a ramp. And Randy Orton don't know. Randy Orton just thinks it's just a regular casket. And Randy opens it, and it's fucking Undertaker. That's the type of that made Undertaker great. Or, I don't remember what situation. I don't remember. I think it, I think it was when he was feeding with Randy. I forgot who he was feeding with. Or, he mess around and <sighs> make lightning just make the ring break. Or, scaring the shit out of King. Or, scaring Mark Henry. Or have an R introducing matches like Buried Alive, casket matches. Him winning, him winning the Royal Rumble in two thousand seven, which of course gave us that great feud between him and Batista. All that feud between him and Shawn Michaels. All that feud between him and Edge. All the feud between him and CM Punk. What made Undertaker so great, bro, he was a mythical character. I ain't gonna lie. He was like a mythical character that you'll probably see in, like, comic books. You'll see in, like, video games. Like, he wasn't... He was, like... He was, like, when people say mythical, he was real, like, mythical. The shit that Undertaker and Vince McMahon was allowed to do on TV was crazy. Can give y'all an example. Yeah, I remember, um, do you guys remember Undertaker Hung, the big boss man? When they was in the still, when they was doing Hell in a Cell, and he put the big boss man on some, sh- y'all know what I'm talking about. If you don't know what I'm talking about, go Google it. And he put the big boss man on that rope and hung him in the air. Or when he put (laughs) when he put Stone Cold Steve Austin on a cross. That's like stuff like moments made Undertaker great also. Not even just his matches. The moments he had. Then we get to the streak. 
honestly, in which my personal opinion, I feel like it should the person. If they was gonna break it, maybe they should have broken when the bloodlines. Maybe, maybe I don't know. I don't know who should have broke it, but it should have never been Brock Lesnar. The streak was so, like, bro, it was the streak was so great to the point WWE. This was before I think this was before her WWE and ESPN was like really like meshing, bro. The streak was being covered by ESPN around WrestleMania time. That's how great and mythical the streak was and Undertaker was. He was a character. Like, we all know, we all have our favorite wrestlers. They have certain characters. Bro, Undertaker literally had a character that lasted until I was 25. Until I was, no, he would tie that shit. Until I was like, until like I was 22, 21. I'm 23 now. Undertaker character lasted, in my personal opinion, it was from 1994. Like, the dead man, probably 1994 up until mm, 20. What last match, match I feel like he had? The last, it really depends on the last good match that he had. Undertaker had so many damn WrestleMania matches, I forget about it. But I honestly feel like he's like he's appreciative, dog. Like we appreciate the Undertaker. We love him, dog. But let's be honest, y'all. This motherfucker might be. I know I would say John's the. I mean, John seems the the gold in my eyes, but a lot of people might. It might be up debate. It might be up for debate, bro. But the Undertaker, in my eyes, that's why I have him on my Mount Rushmore. Not just with the matches, the moments he had, the moments he had, the streak, the obstacles he had to go through. Like, bro, he was in WCW. They didn't want to give him a chance, and guess what? They gave him that. He got that opportunity, and he took the golf, and he never looked back. But Merry Christmas to everybody, man. I just wanted to talk. I just wanted to talk about the Undertaker, y'all. I just wanted to be honest here. But if y'all knew, man, next year, I'm going crazy, Dash. I know I said that last year, this year, but I'm going crazy this year, y'all. I love y'all, man. I'm out. I'm sure of fame. Peace.